Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of this experiment um, in the Motorsport Manager where we uh, have a Malaysian driver driving for Mercedes AMG. Yes, I know before this there there was a Malaysian driver called Alex Young uh, to drive for the Formula 1 team. But what if um, a low rated driver driving for the best team? So this is the kind of experiment I would like to exploit. So uh, if you miss if you miss the first episode, so uh, you have to check it out uh, because it was such a bit of a messy race for our uh, new driver uh, Nabil Jeffrey, uh, where he spun um, around ten times uh, and finish almost finishes at the podium. So it was a bit of a messy rain. Um, uh, rest during the last weekend and as you can see the next rest uh, we won't have uh, any rain so it's gonna be a straightforward rest for our team so um, without further ado let's have a look at our uh, pit crew so as you can see we have a lot of mistakes uh, two mistakes during the during the previous um, race so I'm just gonna replace them and even their stamina is a bit uh, low but before that um, I think I want to hire a few guys first uh, for our backup um, I think I'm sure we have uh, enough of uh, fixing fixing but maybe we gonna get this guy um, because he had a very very good um, stats there and for tires, uh, maybe we need some backup. So another 7k gone. And reject and uh, front check. Um, let's have a look at them. So at the moment, the rear check. Uh, do we have backup for him? Not actually. And maybe we just gonna sign him also. So I'm just gonna reject the last guy here um, as we wanted him. Um, for me, the pit crew is ideally uh, if each one of them have uh, one backup each, so we can just rotate for every single race. So, for example, in race one, this team, this group will be in the field, and then in the next uh, race the backup will go in and this um, group will rest and then when it comes to another race this group will come back again so that was initially my um, uh, idea for now but um, we do not have um, a lot of um, backup at the moment so for the fix I'm just gonna get this guy and we're gonna get um, this guy out, this guy out, and I think he can replace this guy uh, for the tires. And then for the rear jack, uh, he's a bit tired also. And uh, this guy uh, is good on refuel, so I might not renew this guy um, contract uh, because he doesn't have a good attributes so I'm not gonna maybe I'm gonna fire him sometime um, in the future and with this also with Franjack is only 15 so these two these two guy is not really good enough for our pit crew so we'll just gonna review again in the, after the next race and uh, as I as we uh, finish the first race we only receive around 800k which is not good enough so as you remember uh, in the first race in order for us to get the second Malaysian driver we must need at least 12 millions and to get uh, 12 millions um, we're gonna get around 10 races to get uh, when we, uh, we in each race we're gonna get a point four k and if we have 10 races, we're gonna get at 0.4 million. So uh, when we add to our current balance, it will become 13, 13 millions, which in theory, in practical, 
we're gonna get uh, enough money to uh, release Valtteri Bottas but I think it's better for us to to stay this way and focus on um, rebuilding the car to improve the car and let's hope for um, Valtteri Bottas is being offered for, uh, by another team so the scenario is that um, if Valtteri Bottas is being offered to uh, being offered by another team we will sign the Malaysian driver and make him the main driver which will put Lewis Hamilton in the reserve seat but if there is no offers for Valtteri Bottas or Lewis Hamilton we will stay like this until the end of the season so for this season we will focus on Nabil Jeffrey only so um, let's say we have a second season um, as you can see uh, Lewis and Valtteri both will will the contract will, will expire this season so um, if that happens we will let them let the contract expire and sign a newer driver so yeah I hope you understand uh, my explanation there but regardless of that um, yeah the Ham uh, Hamilton won the race and Valtteri really really is not happy with the team currently so I'm not um, really um, care about that so let's just hope uh, he will be offered to another, another team so that we can get the second relation driver as fast as we can so um, in terms of our car it's still um, improving because our our uh, the race uh, just uh, we just have the race last last um, last weekend so it's gonna take uh, a little bit of time for our mechanics to repair the car so let's just move on and once the car is being repaired now we can improve the parts so as you can see um, currently uh, we can improve um, the, perf the reliability of the rear wing maybe we can improve um, the performance of it and for our car it will be done in three days uh, the new part so as i mentioned earlier uh, what's gonna be in uh, dubai so we're gonna focus on deceleration so we will build uh, maybe a brake or a suspension Maybe we're gonna build a suspension because here we already had a max uh, brake, so which is I think good enough. Uh, yeah, we'll see uh, from that. So the car is now finished. The designing the new part. So oh, actually we built an engine, um, and as you can see. Um, we might need to improve the reliability and the performance to make it uh, reach 1061 so um, it's gonna take quite a while and the engine maybe we will need it to be as reliable as it can and let's just have a little just just push it to to the max and maybe I can stop there so that um, you can focus on the engine so uh, we can build a brake now acceleration so this one 1055 1060 1075 this will be the highest but it has a risk level so we don't want to risk it so it's gonna oh 11 hours after the race uh, let's have a look at Beijing maybe we can choose something here so we're gonna have a top speed and deceleration so I think it it worth to, to build 
um, the break. So I'm just gonna build and we gonna cost us 800 k and some of the news and uh, those big corners and yes and yeah just gonna move forward and you can see there's a reliability work done over there mm, let's have a look at the news there's a lot of news there this guy is at the academy uh, Jim Racy, Nicole Carey, Callum Eilat, just to the academy, and this guy Daniel Tickton has been rejected. Hmm. Well, Michael Johnson also being rejected, and Christian Lungard also rejected. So a lot of very, uh, young academy drivers. If we want to play in long term, these are the drivers that we can look forward to. And Jan Jarno Obmir, Jarno Obmir, the reserve driver for Renault, the driver who turned sim driver in real life, um, has been rejected to academy tryout. And Double um, Jeffrey is happy, he got a new trade, the top 5, um, which is good for him and for the finance. Um, we have been informed that our finance is not really good, so um, maybe gonna slow down the production of the car. Uh, we'll just have, uh, see what's gonna happen in the coming race. So the reliability, reliability has done the car, and now we shall try to improve uh, the performance. What else can we improve? Uh, maybe the suspension. Yeah. Yep. So now we will be moving to um, to Dubai Grand Prix. The tire will be, uh, will be medium, fuel burn is very high. We're gonna have a 55 laps race. Um, Just gonna see um, the tires. So uh, usually I will go for something like this. Because I think it's better for us to to use an ultra soft uh, tire. So for for parts, um, we will see. Um, the new engine is not it's not the best yet at the moment so on this 1025 um, but it has a better reliability so if we give it to Lewis he'll be he doesn't like it but nevertheless maybe you can give it to Nabil Jeffrey maybe it's only five uh, the difference so and Lewis uh, your engine is gonna be a lot better in coming days so the performance will improve soon enough and then yep uh, we have the same amount of um, the same same similar uh, car parts so let's move to the to the practice so now we jump to the qualifying session and during the practice I managed to get the level 3 ultra soft Level 3 Super Soft and Level 3 Qualifying Trim. We also got the, 50, um, the Level 3 Rest Trim. So we're gonna get 15% performance increase during this um, qualifying stint. So uh, together we're gonna get 30% uh, improvement. So let's hope we're gonna do a lot better in this qualifying session. And during the train, the practice, I managed to get 19% um, for the car setup for um, Luis and for Nabil Jeffrey. Um, so I'm just gonna use this setup 96%. So the first session, as usual, we're gonna use. Super soft compound uh, to 
see if we or just to just to set our ultra soft tires. So let's take the qualifying Q1. So as you can see there's not gonna be any rain. I can just um, maybe I can use even a medium tire and let's have a look uh, our car performance and then for Neville Jeffrey I'm just gonna try that also. Let's see. Let's uh, have a look how 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 good is the car performance here in uh, Dubai. So as you can see, we're already being beaten by Verstappen. Um, Jeffrey finished seventh. So sorry, we we will focus more on Jeffrey. Neville Jeffrey and he's currently 13 so we're just gonna have a look uh, of the standing so we're gonna have Latifi and Rossi left so at the moment he is in a quite a dangerous uh, position but I believe we might uh, survive the Q1 so I will decide that I'm not gonna take any more stint in this session. So a um, few few drivers has improved. Maybe we have some time to think about it. But uh, let's see, Russell, uh, Russell only as high as 18. So I think it'll be very safe in this. It is Q1. Yep. So we are now um, going to Q2. Albon, surprisingly, uh, is the fastest guy in Q1. So let's move on to Q2. can try two sessions but let's have a look uh, we, we can can uh, maybe the first trial and see hopefully uh, the driver did enough to qualify to Q2 3 so we will focus on Nabil Jaffrey let's um, the time now. Yes, it's gonna be for sector. Oh, because he's the first one to uh, to go out on the track. Uh, he's actually setting the purple lap before Lewis um, um, overrides it. So he's only uh, yeah, he's one second off Lewis Hamilton. And we'll see if we will survive Q2 with Nabil and we will see until maybe two minutes or so when the tricks uh, grip is getting higher maybe we can go out with him. Um, hopefully this is enough for him to go out. Uh, in Q3, as you can see, Esteban Ocon uh, has improved. Uh, Pierre Gasly did not do enough, so I think we might survive this and start the rest tomorrow with the super soft uh, compound. Giovinazzi set two white sectors, so he's so going to trouble Nadal Jeffrey at the moment, and London Norris also produced two white sectors, and Lotrol is going to try, and 
Lance Stroll managed to go to um, Q3 in the final moment. So Nabil Jeffrey barely survived Q2. So we're gonna uh, up our our game in Q3. So we're gonna use, of course, the ultra soft tires this time around. So let's go for um, ultra soft and maybe I uh, can give uh, Hamilton a slipstream maybe we can get it fast so I keep on forgetting uh, that we must focus on Mabel Jeffrey uh, on this um, experiment so now he managed to get fourth fastest now and he dropped to fifth as you can see Lecre uh, is setting up pop alpha sector green second sector and uh, where is he and he overall managed to get to third so we're just gonna wait until the track temperature rises up before we go out for an, our second steam hopefully Hamilton uh, can stay in the pole position it's not that far uh, Lecra is only 400 of a second and uh, yeah the both Ferraris are 100 seconds away from us So we will go in now. A new set of tire for Mabel Jeffrey and Lewis will go also for another new set of ultra soft. So it's important to save the ultra soft um, in the earlier uh, session. So let's have a look at Mabel Jeffrey. Well, he's actually uh, better than the rest of the bass, but we hope that he can go at least maybe top 3 in this stint. And as you can see earlier, Sebastian Vital and Charles Lecker has created a purple sectors and they are now faster than Lewis Hamilton and even Hamilton have two white sectors. So we're not gonna be in pole. Um, and Nabil will start in the third row of uh, the grid tomorrow uh, in the race and Lewis using ultra soft uh, did not manage to get pole position so it's gonna be a very, very tough race for us uh, tomorrow so well, well, a good job for both Hamilton and Jeffrey and we will see what we can do in the race tomorrow. So this will be the grid for tomorrow. Sebastian Vettel, Charles Leclerc, both Ferrari in the front row, and then Lewis Hamilton will be together with Max Verstappen, uh, Mercedes Red Bull, um, Mercedes Red Bull uh, grid. But uh, in the third row, it's the same also a uh, Red Bull and uh, our team Mercedes, and then Daniel Ricciardo. 7, let's run in 8, Carlos Sainz 9, and Sergio Perez complete the top 10 of the grid for starting tomorrow. So for the race, um, we're gonna go for the soft and rest stream. Maybe we're gonna have a quick look uh, with the tires. We're gonna have a 55 laps and the tires. Um, well, I cannot see the tire, but the super soft is gonna give us around 30, 30 laps. So, hmm. we might go for a um, super soft compound this time around because um, the super soft is gonna give us around 30, 30 laps and. 
I'm not sure about the ultra soft, but um, I don't know. Uh, let's just gamble on the knowledge. Maybe you're just gonna use ultra soft. No, let's just go with super soft because that will be the longest. Uh, we can go uh, as long as 30 laps with that. So 30 laps and gonna be bad. We're gonna use that for more than half of the um, half of the race. So I think that is the right choice for us. So we're gonna go um, aggressive during the start. So let's focus on Nabil Jeffrey. Five lights on. He's having still, still six. Oh no! Nabil has been pushed away, and he's now twenty second. Well, Lewis Hamilton is fifth, so I'm just gonna leave that, and we'll see how Nabil can recover from. Um, this position, as you can see, um, a lot of them are using super soft. Um, Ocon, fan of us, is using ultra soft. Can we can we do better? Yes, we we can. We can um, overtake. And Nabil Jeff is trying to overtake another driver. That one is Pierre Gasly. Now he's up to 16. Can he do more better? I think I need to um, slow down his um, tire temperature even with Luis because uh, the tire temp is quite high at the moment. Maybe I can conserve a little bit. For now, we'll just gonna stay there. So still in 15, he has um, Kevin Magnus in front of him, and someone was in the field because Latifi in London Norris. Uh, London Norris, uh, maybe he has uh, some problems uh, in the earlier stage, maybe a uh, minor crash or something. But um, it's amazing that um, Nabil Jeffrey has come from 23rd now to 14th, he's up 9 places. So let's hope for um, another uh, miracle. But at the moment, uh, his tire has gone up. So, so uh, he's uh, locked up there and he is under investigation. Uh, in the previous race, he was. Oh my goodness. In this. In the previous race, he, he crashed with someone else also. He was uh, penalized for 10 seconds. And for this race, we have 52 laps left. Um yeah we we just gonna wait until the lap until the cars oh it's it is pretty pretty bad. Um what about the tire choice? If we go forty one laps not gonna be enough, it's gonna be too slow. Maybe we just gonna go on for a while and uh, ignore this first. Um, I know uh, the condition might get even worse. So let's just uh, look at the moment 16 and 14 percent. Um, even with that, uh, we can. Uh, we're still gonna start in the 14th place. Uh, some other protect there. I'm just going to put neutral. What happened to Lewis? He's now 3 seconds behind Vettel. So let's just hope that he can catch him. While Noble Jeffrey uh, still stuck in the 13th place. So let's move forward this. Uh, see. Oh, we have to pit and fix that. Unfortunately, uh, it will cost us a lot of time but it has to be done so we have 48 laps remaining uh, let's have a look at the tires um, twenty can have 
30 laps or how many laps maybe we we don't change that the tire because it will save us a lot of time also um it is uh, unfortunate for Nabil Jeffrey but um, it's a race uh, this is a typical race so I'm just gonna go down the consumption hopefully we don't have any mistake there and still repairing and he's now out in the 23rd so let's just um, make it neutral hopefully there's a safety car or something and let's hope Nabil doing well and as so of for Lewis that is 2.8 second uh, behind Sebastian Vettel is 2.5 now but the tire uh, heat is hot so I'm just gonna conserve it and you're just gonna see Nabil Jeffrey is now doing green uh, sectors there maybe his personal bus and now we catch up to the car with 20 second which is Toffel Van Dorn so slowly but surely and we're gonna conserve our tire there and gonna use some of our fuel and we just pass uh, London Norris who still have a problem with his car so it's not good for him and uh, Lewis Hamilton is now closing by to Sebastian Vettel I'm not sure maybe Vettel Vettel is pushing but um, we caught him some somewhat now Nabil Jeffrey on Rossi can he produce um, an overtake here still not able yeah he managed to move to 20th place now so I'm just gonna cool everything down and let's have a look and we are already being lapped by our um, by the rest leader so um, allow teammate to pass through um, because it's a um, blue flag so there's nothing you can do with that and let's have a look at um, Lewis Hamilton he is trying to to overtake uh, Sebastian Vettel can we do it we will push the engine and yes we did it and just gonna conserve everything so hopefully he can build the lead and uh, and give us a lot of fun I don't know maybe a lot of points in this race and as you can see Nabil Jeffrey still have 41% tire wear while Lewis Hamilton has a 54 so he's gonna be doing quite okay in this race I'm just gonna conserve his tire so that he can have a long steam as of for Jeffrey uh, we'll try to catch um, Marcus Ericsson this car uh, we actually have a very very uh, high fuel there uh, because we were being lapped by Lewis so we have extra one lap of fuel so we're just gonna utilize that and at the moment uh, we're 37 percent aware so um, I'm just gonna push this last lap for him and we'll pit him for an, another oh we don't have extra tires uh, so to minimize another uh, pit stop so we will go for the harder compound so I'm not sure about that but in order to survive till the end we will use the harder tire and try to finish uh, the race with less pit stop so hopefully he's doing a very very good pit stop yes no mistake there 
is now down to 21st but he will not make any other pit stop let's hope that um, he can produce some magic while using this car and let's have a look with Lewis um, let's see, uh, increase the driving style there push a little bit of the tires before he go for the pit stop I'm just gonna have a look we have a 25 laps remaining he can go anytime now but uh, he still have a good tire wear so we can go for another one or two laps for him and let's have a look uh, to Nabil Jeffrey he can push the car actually to higher engine mod and try to catch the car in front of him next is Ocon who is 10 second and he's on a super soft um, yeah we will try to see if we can catch the car who is using a super soft a software compound from us um, Hamilton still out there and we will try to push this car in this lap so maybe he can come in now or maybe should I go in in the other lap so maybe the, the next lap should be okay because he still have a very very good tire wear and Esteban Hocon has crashed and we now automatically improved one position and now uh, he's Lewis Hamilton set the fastest lap and his tire is overheated so we have 30 laps remaining uh, we can't go for um, the ultra soft so we will use the super soft so that we can go to the end of this race pretty much okay from, for me because we have um, the knowledge of the super soft so in terms of strategy we won't be going into we won't be using um, another pit stop for Lewis and let's have a look hopefully there's no mistake yes we are doing a very, very good pit stop there and let's have a look at Nabil now so as you can see uh, Hamilton will finish the rest uh, with this tire he has a very very good tire wear actually and I think this is a rest win if there's no accident hopefully but we shall do something with uh, Nabil Jeffrey hopefully he can catch the cars in front of him Marcus Erickson will sure gonna pit Massa will have to pit Martinson I don't think so Roman Grosjean will have to pay it, Rekano will have to pay it, Gasly, Giovinazzi, Kivian, Russell and Sainz will have to pay it, but they are like 50 plus seconds in front of us, so we're just gonna have a look uh, how well will Nabil uh, do, and because at the moment he struggle to pass the car in front of him. Um, and Grosjean, Grosjean is in the pit, uh, who is that, we just passed, uh, oh finally we passed Marcus Ericsson, so now the next target is Felipe Massa who is around 30 seconds in front of us, or maybe 10 seconds, yeah, 11 seconds, he for sure gonna pit, um, and we uh, at the moment is utilizing our uh, fuel so at the moment it's now down to uh, still 11 seconds so it's gonna be very very hard for us to catch him in these tires So we have around how many laps left? left. Uh, we have 22 laps left. I look at the power tire, we have 28 laps. So we're basically gonna go to the end 
of the race with these tires but are we gonna jump few places oh my goodness um, the suspension problem earlier from the crash uh, has hit us um, I'm not sure if we should fix that um, we will see the situation uh, for the race oh Hamilton is um, having uh, overheat tire there we should uh, cool it down and yeah with that he still have a very very high uh, fuel that we can use and now Nando Jeffrey will be lapped again by Lewis Hamilton so if this happened we might get an extra um, fuel again another one lap of fuel another one lap worth of fuel so we can utilize it again and as for Lewis I'm just gonna cool his tire down because he it was so mega hot just now I forgot to see uh, his tire um, unfortunately we might need to pit with Nabil the condition of his car is not that good and even if we change to ultra soft um, it's not gonna help us a lot so Nabil has to pit and has to fix uh, his car uh, he is very unlucky in this race, so he's uh, now at 9 back to 19 position. So we're just gonna push our fuel and let's see if we can. I don't know, um, I have nothing to say anymore about him, but he will automatically get uh, one uh, place. Uh, better as Kvyat crashed and Hamilton at the moment is 22 seconds ahead of Sebastian Vettel he is just too good uh, in our team but for Nabil Jeffrey I think he just passed Massa so that's him for uh, top 15 at least uh, in this race so yeah. Gonna go for Norris, who is uh, 14 seconds ahead of us, but the tire wear, as you can see, that is not good. So Norris uh, might go into the pit uh, anytime soon, and look at it, Grosjean might also go into the pit. So we just pass uh, Norris, who is currently in the pit, and we will go for Grosjean who is 10 seconds away from us so oh my goodness I forgot to lower down the fuel there oh my goodness it's my bad so currently um, London Norris is catching us and I think with that fuel we might not be able to survive that yes so uh, that was my bad I did not realize that he is not um, he is using um, overtech mode so let's just um, lower his consumption well, for Lewis, let's uh, make it medium. I can even pit with him, but uh, yeah, uh, let's just focus on Nabil Jeffrey then. With five laps, with two laps left, uh, uh, he's uh, very, very low on fuel. Let's not do that with Hamilton. Yeah, actually, we can beat with Hamilton uh, to produce the fastest lap, but it is already done by 
Max Verstappen. So uh, the extra point will go to Max for this race. And for Nabil, this is um yeah, uh, it's a bad rest uh, for him. He was unfortunate in, in the first uh, sector or first part of the race. Uh, he collided with another driver. Uh, yeah, he, he's just unlucky in this race. But nevertheless, Lewis Hamilton managed to get 25 points for us, but I don't think it's enough um, to please um, the boss uh, later. So we have got 25 points. Sebastian Vettel actually managed to grab the fastest lap. He got extra points there, one point. While Max Verstappen is in third uh, to round up the podium. Charles Lecure finished fourth, while both the Aston Martin Racing Point finished fifth and sixth. Max Sabon finished seventh, Dan Ricardo finished eighth at nine. Carlos Sainz Jr. Um, got two points there, while Pierre Gasly got the final point in this race. And for us, finish 17 with a uh, with a problem. Oh, we receive a penalty also. We have a broken car. Um, we have to fix twice. So it was very very unlucky for Nabil Jeffrey. So hopefully uh, he can do better in the next race. And as you can see that Sergio Perez has passed us. Uh, with 16 points so let's hope for a better rest we can um, for Nabil Jeffrey so now after the race um, Luis uh, has added his markability 18% and unfortunately for Nabil Jeffrey marketability is decreased another 15% so to improve to get a very very good sponsor is um, getting tough now because of Nabil Jeffrey but that is the task that we want to go for for this race we got a million uh, so um, that will be added to our finance so I hope you enjoy this um, race uh, it was unfortunate for Nabil Jeffrey but let's hope a stronger we can at Beijing stay tuned on the next episode